Building on the immense popularity of our GT Urban Ash, we're introducing two new models to the GT line. Here to talk more about these are master guitar designer Andy Powers and Dr. Molly Miller. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, it's great to be here. It's so nice to be here. You guys sound great together. <laughs> oh, thanks. And, it's a lot of fun to get to play. It's yeah. I feel and like those guitars. I, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I haven't gotten to play with hardly any other musicians for this whole year, which is something I've never experienced in my lifetime. So. It's a real thrill. This might be the first concert in the San Diego area yeah. for 12 months. <laughs> and we got new guitars to play, so it's, it's good. Molly, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here, like Andy was saying, like to play with another human, and especially Andy. I feel very fortunate to be here playing this instrument with, yeah, with you guys. Yeah, you guys sound great yeah. together. So tell me how the GT feels in your, in your hands and how it fits your musical style. Yeah, I mean... Um, I play a lot of electric guitar, and so I'm kind of finicky when it comes to acoustic guitars. And the playability is like the number one thing. And this guitar is so easy to play. The neck feels great in my hand. Um, and one of the things I say a lot about Andy's builds are like the sustain on the guitars are crazy. Um, yeah, so I get these big lush sounds. So it feels, it feels real, real good in my hands right now. So Andy, you came up with a whole new scale length, nut width, almost everything new with this guitar. And why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you were thinking when you came up with the whole Grand Theater design and why Molly, as a mainly electric guitar player, really gravitates towards these. Well, yeah, you know, when I was looking at this at this guitar, I see guitars falling into the world of, call it travel guitars, where they're short scale. And then you have your, some people would say grown up guitars, the big guitars. You know, it's a longer scale that's, you know, 25 inches or more long. But there's this big range right in the middle where there aren't, there aren't really options that we know of, but there could be. And I see that as a very a lively place to get to build a guitar from because you've got options that you don't have elsewhere. You know, you can build the proportions to be a little more compact, and yet you have enough string length to make a really good sounding instrument out of. You know, so that was, it was an exciting thing to start working with. But this particular string length is really interesting because it is familiar, especially for an electric player. Now, a lot of players will down tune, you know, E flat through E flat, you know, because we like the feel, that slinky string right. tension. Mm -hmm. This scale is derived at by, imagine yourself taking a typical 25 and a half inch scale, down tuning it, E flat through E flat, putting a capo at the first fret. Sure. So now you're back to concert pitch, right? But you have that slinky feel and the small kind of fret spacing that you would get out of it. That's the scale length that's driving the design of this guitar. Yeah, I've been very fortunate to have a, a GT Urban Ash in my house. And I find myself playing above the seventh fret on an acoustic guitar where I typically don't. And what you're talking about is absolutely true. Bending notes a little bit more even, more electric style. Yeah, it, like it's really interesting to watch the way Molly will play because Typically, you've got a very tight string feel on an acoustic guitar. And in this case, it's so easygoing, you have a lot more expression on every one of the notes. It'll even change the player's articulation hand. So the way that a musician approaches the guitar is significantly different. So I've heard from a lot of players who have gotten the early versions of the uh, GT Urban Ash, and they're saying it kind of fits a musical space in their guitar toolbox that doesn't exist right now. Molly, do you feel the same way? Is this, is this replacing something, or is it more fitting into a space that you didn't know you needed? I feel like more the latter, because I don't have a guitar that is like this right now. Um, and even though I have a couple of tailors where they, they are easy to play, the sustainability, the playability, but I think the slinkiness is new to me, and how easy it is to play high up on the instrument, and there's not even a cutaway. But when we were jamming on it earlier, like I found myself above the 12th fret and not even thinking about it. Um, and I think that probably has a lot to do with the, the slinkiness of the strings that Andy was mm -hmm. just talking about. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Now, Andy, we started off with the GT Urban Ash. We introduced that last year. This year, we have the new GT 811E and the GT K 21E. Um, what made you pick these two as the next models to introduce in the Grand Theater lineup? Well, in short, I was excited to build them. That's really what drove it is when I started building what became the GT guitar, I knew I wanted to build with the Urban Ash because I love that wood. I love the forestry model. I love all that's going into that. So I knew I wanted to incorporate that. But the design itself is so strong that it has a lot of other possibilities. So in this case, I wanted to, right up front, I wanted to build one that was the classic Rosewood Spruce pairing, as well as the Alcoa. And so even amongst the first prototypes of these guitars that I'd built, I'd incorporated those ingredients just to get a feel for what, how I could manipulate the design to feature those woods and complement that voice. So these were two that I was really excited to build because they're such significantly different flavors. Yeah, well, if the reaction is similar to the GT Urban Ash to these guitars, you've got another hit on your hands. Well, thanks. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. They're a lot of fun to play. Excellent. Well, loved hearing your first song. You want to play a little bit more? Sure. Yeah. Want to play Chitlin's Con Carney? Cool. Do it. Uh, you want to take the melody? Sure. Cool. You count it. Okay. One, two. One, two. 